Gotta turn off the music. Um, hey, I used to uh, post the occasional video that I'd make up, just having kind of fun. There were fun videos on YouTube. Traditionally, I'd have iTunes playing in the background. Uh, I got a, received an email from Sony last year telling me they'd removed one of my videos because I had infringed, I was infringing on copyrights or something like this. Now I've got a bit of understanding of copyright rule, but not a lot. But uh, it was no big deal to me. The video had been up over two years and had been viewed 28 times. That's like a droplet of water inside a drop when it comes to the YouTube crowd. But, you know, if, if Sony's going to invest time in making sure those things are covered, I appreciate copyright rules. So, you know, who am I to argue? Now I just make sure I turn off my tunes and don't have anything playing in the background uh, because I don't want to break the law. I'm a pretty law abiding citizen. Anyway, today, today as I Andy said, I wanted to talk a little bit today about access because uh, this continues to be. Uh, a little bit of an issue with me, and, and yet it shouldn't. Uh, when I left Calgary, I was walking on crutches, so all of my friends knew me as being able I could get in just about anywhere. Stairs didn't bother me. Uh, in fact, Calgary is a pretty accessible city. When I came back, um, I was now wheelchair dependent because uh, my shoulders have worn out. I discovered over, over time that uh, shoulders aren't weight bearing joints, and after 30, 35 years, they wear out. So now, I, now I'm confined to this wheelchair. Uh, I can still get around, you know, but that's 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 not the issue. It's just getting into various places that I used to think were just fine, and now I'm discovering they're not. Many of my friends that have known me for 30, 35 years from the city, because I was gone 18 years, and when I came back, they were so used to me being on crutches that uh, they didn't really take access into account until I showed up again. So access is still an issue. Uh, I would have thought after, since it was incorporated in the building code in 1976, that the the concept would be there by now. But it's it's not, and I find that really frustrating. It's it's hard to build an inclusive society if you're not building on a strong foundation. And if we haven't grasped the concept of physical access yet, then anything we build on top of, of this... Oh my god, look at it, it just started raining. Uh, it was sunny when I went out earlier. Uh, then we don't have a strong foundation to keep everything else steady. And, and, and I am noticing things fall apart. Many of the advocates I dealt with many years ago uh, have now passed on. They were, uh, these were, a lot of these were the war vets who really fought for things following World War II. Uh, a lot of those, uh, this generation of uh, persons with disabilities, they born under 1980, take all of this in stride. It's always been there. So they don't really think about it. So when things start to erode, they're not paying attention. And uh, they need to be. You know, my friends out there, you need to pay attention to this. I know you don't want to be shit disturbers, but you're not being a shit disturber. You're just standing up for what people had done prior to you. And we want to maintain that. Uh, do you understand what I mean? You know, most people know the, the Terry Foxes, the Rick Hansons of the world. And that's cool. That's good. Those are, those are good guys. Uh, I knew them both in their past, uh, back in the wheelchair basketball days. So, uh, But they were mentored by the likes of Stan Strong and Doug Wilson and uh, Doug Mowat and Keith Wary. Uh, these, these are the guys that would be in their 80s today had they still been here. Uh, they're the ones that laid the foundation and pushed for changes for access that resulted in the uh, uh, changed to the building code in 1976, but they were also the ones that influenced persons like myself. They had an influence on people like Rick Hansen. You know, we're the generation in between. The generation now, those born since 1980, are, are enjoying the benefits of what many people fought for 
prior to that, but I'm watching some of these things being slowly, slowly eroded, and yet that generation of, the, of disabled don't really love, don't really pay a lot of attention to it. It's always been there, so they take it for granted. And you know, when I when I talk to you guys, I mean, you really got to keep your eye on this. It's not, uh, it's not something you can take for granted. Don't get complacent. You know, it's been fought for, so make sure it's maintained and you don't have to refight for it because I'm seeing that start to happen. And I'm going to give you an example here in a minute. Uh, when you have to fight to get it back, that means it was never really incorporated into a belief system anyway. It was a nicety, but it wasn't something done because it was good for everybody. Um, I just want to throw that in. So, So think about this. The next time you go to attend a political um, town hall meeting in on, during election time, uh, and it's not in an accessible venue, uh, as I experienced recently in a, an election, a provincial election in BC, or uh, you may go down to the local board of education. <laughs> Uh, center the disability resource center to represent a family just to discover the building isn't accessible uh, or you go to visit you go to pardon me you go to vote in the municipal election as I did last year just to discover that they had decided to move a polling station to the top of the eight stairs leading down into the the polls um, I appreciated the fact that they moved this up put one at the top of the stairs. Uh, what really surprised me was that it was in the gym of a local, a downtown high school. So where do students with disabilities go if they're not going to that school? Uh, there was no physical access at all there. What, what that says to me is our system has been dealing with this like it's a political correctness issue rather than a basics of life issue. They haven't incorporated it into their belief when it comes to uh, city development and urban development. And if it hasn't been bought into, then we have to continually watch out for it. So do that. Think about that the next time you're traveling around. And I'm not just talking to my disability buddies. I'm talking to everybody because basically everybody is about one minute away from being disabled or knowing someone disabled in their life. So think about what goes beyond that little three feet circle around yourself. All right, thanks. Have a good day and I hope you had a good, happy Canada weekend. Bye-bye.